the when when they go abroad and go to my friend's house, they also have this different way of cooking a chicken and all. The recipe is called a creamy chicken and all. And what better way to express your love to your family? I mean, taking something that every single Filipino family has known ever since here in the Philippines. I mean, I think it dates all the way back to Spanish era, as a matter of fact. Isn't that right? Yes. In fact, it's the Spanish who invented. Or should we say it's the Spanish influence the invention of the mm -hmm. It all started as a, with a like a vinegar and pepper mm -hmm. with some meat. I think they called it escabeche. And oh. then eventually, yeah. eventually, the Filipinos started eating it and adding soy sauce to it. And then it uh, it became a Filipino dish instead. Well, you still look forward to it in every single location, especially in the Filipino family. Anyway, Chef, I think we have a little surprise for our crowd. Yes. Yes. All right, so uh, guys, today we are going to make a recipe that uh, you can prepare for home, for you and for your family. And this recipe I also prepared for my family because you know, there's adobo everywhere, like mm -hmm. I said. Mm -hmm. you know, we make regular adobo, we make creamy adobo with the leftover. We make everything from like uh, seasick adobo afterwards. Seasick adobo? Yeah, and then sometimes we uh, shred the adobo and mix it with potato coated in breadcrumbs. <laughs> it becomes uh, croquetas, uh, adobo with aioli. Please take notes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, the possibilities of adobo are, it's, it's so endless. Uh -huh. You know, it's so endless and that's why I'm so excited to share these recipes with you. And also at the same time, make them more special. And the way to make them more special is by adding Nestle or Purple mm -hmm, Spring, mm -hmm. the number one cream. Yes, I know it may sound strange a bit at first, but the chicken and double with cream, I assure you guys, again, I've tried it backstage. It is just so I'm delicious. So we can trying to see it. Uh, rest assured that the, you know, the balance is perfect and everything is perfect. And that's the thing is, once you get a good recipe, here's another tip for all of you who want to be cooks at the home. At home. If some people say, I want to learn how to cook, but I don't know where to start. Mm -hmm. And my advice is always, perfect one recipe first. Mm -hmm. And once you perfect it, write it down. And the reason why writing it down is so important is so that you can recreate it exactly the same way again and again. Oh. And one day, give it to other people, you can Right, right. So that way it's the same again and again. And once you perfect that one recipe, you can move on to the next. Mm -hmm. So. So, Chef, uh, what's your proportion here for your soy sauce and your uh, vinegar? What uh -huh. proportion did we have? Well, it's there in the recipe, mm -hmm. and uh, I won't tell them now because I think I'll, I'll surprise them later with the portions. We'll talk about more of the proportions later on and the quantities. Mm -hmm. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to put in our chicken into the mix, and we're going to cook this on a low simmer for 10 minutes. Okay. And then, okay. I have 10 minutes to wait, but of course we don't want everybody to wait. Oh, well, of we have, course! We have here our prepared... It's so good! <laughs> it's adobo! Uh, we have here our instant adobo. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put our adobo first here. Uh-huh. Presentation again? No, no, no. This is a uh, two-twice Twice cooked adobo. Oh. Especially, lahat po tayo mga Pinoy, we like things caramelized. You know, golden brown. And right. Everything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry the chicken meat until it's nice and golden brown, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna reintroduce the sauce into it. Okay. So that's why it's called a twice cooked adobo. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely. Our bay leaves on top. Add us mm -hmm. a little garnish. We put this down over here. <laughs> Smells good? I want a little taste right huh? now, but and then we're just, on. let's just wipe the rim of the plate. Alright. So it looks nice and good. And then there you have it. That's our lovely, delightful cream chicken adult. And there, it certainly looks delicious, Chef Rob. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause, please. Yes. Thank you, thank you.